All right. Welcome, Yay. David. Well, thank you. David's going to be one of 33 authors um, at the Kensington Mill Falls Event Center for the Holiday Book Festival that takes place on Saturday, November 30th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And that's in Milford, Michigan. Welcome, David. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so you, when you filled out your information, you said that you're going to be bringing three book titles with with you. Can you tell us about those book titles? Uh, absolutely. I, I guess if I were to say one theme um, that goes over through all of them is, is probably healing, uh, emotional healing. Uh, one is, um, it's called Parent to Parent, Healing and Emotional Trauma. And it's a, it's a nonfiction uh, mm -hmm. book on healing trauma in children, but also the trauma from children in adults. But what's unique about it is uh, I really want to emphasize the healing part. Mm -hmm. You know, in psychology, we're so quick to make lists of what's wrong and, and, mm -hmm. and define them and, you know, experiment on them and to the nth degree, but very little time on what to do to make things right, you know. And so I really focus on that in my career. Uh, so this it's a it's 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 in three parts. Uh, first part is the normal emotional development. The second part It started mm -hmm. off talking about his life, and much of what happens in the book happened in real life. Um, but the, mm -hmm. the intent wasn't biography. The intent for me was to, to have it be a healing story. Mm -hmm. Because one of the stories are so great at are expressing and communicating all the feelings that go and that are involved. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for instance, you know, many of the, the parents that I talk to, foster parents or uh, parents with children who have uh, individual issues, whatever they may be, one of the things that they have in common is they all have a real low self-esteem about how they're doing as a parent. Mm. They really, mm -hmm. and they might be doing great, and I have a little story about that, but they might be uh, doing a great job, but they don't feel that way because mm. of the trouble. Mm -hmm. So no, understanding the feelings and knowing how, you know, to communicate. Feelings are language mm -hmm. you know, that we use back and forth. It's our first language, not English. It's our first language. You know, we cry, somebody feeds us. Mm -hmm. We cry a little differently and they change our diapers, you know. Mm -hmm. So that, that's really the start of it. And it's really our basic. Uh, it goes pre, it's pre-verbal. Mm-hmm. So the second book is a novel, and uh, I wanted it to do two things. I wanted it to work really well as a good novel and as a good piece of uh, psychology to, for people to talk about, like in social work classes or psych classes or whoever mm -hmm. really wants to learn about what happens when we're more traumatized or our children are traumatized. Uh, and it's about the feelings. Uh, so uh that's some way home a memoir you the, have that one um do you have the cover for that one with you uh, oh yeah that one's actually in the book cover contest 
Right. You know, I can show it like this or, you know, I can share. I think, you know, there's a way to share. I don't there know. we go. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, awesome. I that's, that's my, uh, I love that book so much. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, um, uh, the last one is um, a collection of poems oh, uh, that nice. I, I wrote uh, back when I was uh, in college. When I was like 19, I had a severe uh, bout, onset of a bout of uh, general depression, mm -hmm. which lasted, I think, about four or five years, which is real long for a, a depression to last. But it's because mm -hmm. I was uh, really into faking it. Ah. Then, yeah, I'm really Mr. Cheerful, you know. <laughs> uh, and uh, I faked it. I faked it. And I faked it. I faked it so much that I, I got to a point where I didn't know what I was feeling anymore, you know. Mm, okay. Uh, and uh, so while I was going through that, I wrote poems. And then as I was uh, starting to heal from it, I also wrote poems. And I collected them mm. uh, in, a, in a short series of poetry. Uh, and then I also took them and I used them to make posters. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. I, I got found a um, a website that was uh, not uh, no no uh, they're free free photos. Uh, mm -hmm. No, what, what's the word? No royalty. Okay. So, yep. Royalty real, free. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's called Upsplash dot com. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used those, and I got my poetry on them. And and uh, would you like to see one? Yes, you I, should I be can... able to. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, select the tab. Oh, there's no tabs. <laughs> Share audio. Okay. Oh, got to go to the right. No. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Well, I guess I should have figured out how to do this first. Do you know how to do this at all? Uh, I have not used that feature on here yet. So, um, okay. Uh huh. Typically, it's okay. share screen well, and then pick the. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's on the screen. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll figure that out later. That's not, I guess <laughs> we'll, it's not we'll put a link. Now. There'll be a link on the. Um, when okay. this gets uploaded to YouTube, I always put uh -huh. the links, you know, all of your website and all those kind of links to it so they'll be able to click on the link and, okay. and go visit <laughs> okay all right awesome. that's the other way to do it would have gone to it gone to my website but yep. all right well yeah that's that so those are the books i, I plan on bringing okay uh, the they the two are uh i think the only important ones and they've done really well on amazon as far as uh, um, reviews Mm -hmm. uh, we scored like uh, 4.7 and 4.5 out of uh, five stars, awesome. I believe. That's what it was. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just looking forward to trying to figure out how to, to market them and <laughs> to get them out there. Well, awesome. I just turned 70. I just turned 70 a couple months ago. So it's like, okay, I better do this. <laughs> <laughs> right on, so uh, do you have any more books? Um that you're going to be coming out with? Do you have any else, uh, else planned? I, you know, I had a whole lot of ideas. Um, I wanted, my whole plan was originally, you know, the first part of my working career, I worked as uh, in restaurants and kitchens um, mm -hmm. from 13 till, till about uh, early, uh, almost 30, about 29, 27, 29. Mm -hmm. Then as a psychologist for 30 years. And then my last part, I was hoping to, Right, I was hoping to write mm -hmm. it, but the mark. Uh, when I was an English lit major back in seventy to seventy five, mm -hmm. everything was different. You know, yeah. you would write. Writers would write uh, something, and then they'd send out a few letters. If somebody liked mm -hmm. their book, they'd just turn over the raw, <laughs> the raw material, and yep. somebody else would take care of it. You know, uh, that's not how it is, obviously anymore. <laughs> nope, things have changed. <laughs> yeah, I, I wrote it. I sent out hundreds and hundreds of uh, query letters mm -hmm. uh, and uh, got uh, very few responses. Uh, I think only one or two actually read it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 
and they said their problem was that they couldn't figure out what shelf to put it on in mm. the bookstore. Okay. Which I think, you know, because, and that was my point was I was trying to make it, you know, work. <laughs> for so, so much for my best laid plans. <laughs> So that didn't work. So then I had to learn how to edit it for myself, you know, so that took uh, several years because um, when I was growing up, I had a, a learning disability in uh, undiagnosed back then, but a learning disability in reading and writing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was the it wasn't the words or the, the semantics, the meaning. It was it was the grammar and the punctuation, the spelling of a horrendous mm -hmm. speller. <laughs> so learning how to copy edit was a big deal for me, and that took years. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> then I found out, well, you have to have a website. Okay, how do I do that? Well, that took another while, and then, you know, and then you know, now we're getting on fifteen, twenty years later. I'm, I'm going to wait a minute. I have all these books I want to write, but I don't think I'll ever have the time. So I, I really got kind of discouraged and I sort of said, well, if I can sell these that I've already done, which I think are, mm -hmm. are good quality books, then it would be worth it to do more. I've always wanted to write and be a, a, a that was my first you know, major was to be a creative writer. You know, uh, I love stories, I love storytelling. You know. Well, um, I do have contacts for you for a reasonably priced um editor that works mm. primarily with indie authors um oh okay and she also has a podcast Ooh. that anybody that has any author that has written that has written a book and mm -hmm. is an indie author so they self-published mm -hmm. they can go on her podcast for each book title that they've had that they have and they just read a portion of the book to her and then oh, okay. she she puts it up on her podcast it goes on spotify it goes on youtube she shares it on facebook oh, neat. Um, so yeah so yeah. i will be i'll be yeah. giving you those resources um in fact they might have been in that welcome email that i sent out to you mm. um check further down but i'm also going to put it in the description of the um video so that anybody okay. watching this can also know what those resources are because she yeah. does a great job um, oh that's great because uh, you know another thing was everything was pay i don't have the kind of money and i yeah i'm a dad and you know i work anywhere we're living now on a fixed income you know mm -hmm. getting the money to do this stuff is it's been a real big issue once, once well, you get to the marketing and i it, read about marketing and, and all that stuff and but poof yeah, yeah that's anyway. why i said she's very reasonably priced and she works specifically with indie authors she does payments and all that kind of good stuff so she's she's definitely very well uh, worth it and um i highly awesome. i highly highly recommend her um, Can I ask you, do you like Mandy Joe or Mandy? Um, I actually go by Mandy Joe in the author okay. world. Um, okay. I answer okay. to I either. Wanna... It really did. Okay. I can really tell where people have met me through by what they refer to me as. So, <laughs> oh. what if they call you George? Um, like nobody George does Sands. that. <laughs> no, no George Sands. <laughs> okay. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. this has been great. And one more question. Do you do an outline or you do you just write as a pantser by the seat of your pants? Well, uh, the first book that I, The Some Way Home, which was my first book, mm -hmm. uh, the idea came, you know, uh, the idea came in two ways. Uh, one, uh, at that point, Jeremy, uh, my son, which we changed, certain things in the book so he's not like uh, uh i don't we were real afraid not to exploit him so right. i'm going to sell it as a fiction so mm -hmm. that he has any kind of he can say whatever he wants to say about what his reality is without feeling like we we set him up you know yep but anyway but anyway he was you know we were seeing the the medical people and and one uh doctor asked us or asked me do you, does he you know you know, one thing that he missed, oh, that's what it was. In second grade, the teacher had a a, 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 a series. They had to learn about timelines. 
Okay. And to learn about timelines, they were told to go back and get photographs of their life from zero to second grade. And then okay. they would put them on a board and, and make a timeline and learn about timelines that way. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he came to us in when he was five. We were his fifth family. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in and out of foster care. Um, he had no photos. Oh, uh, so, man. Yeah, while everybody, because, and the reason I found out about it, she called me and says, you know, he's acting like crazy, you know, this week he's out of control completely. And so I asked her what it was they were doing. And I said, oh, well, you know, he doesn't have any of those. And so he's reacting that way. Yeah. Uh, she, oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, so um, the the going back to the, the doctor said, you know, you should write a journal, you mm -hmm. know, and that would be a story because we all have individual stories mm -hmm. that are very important to us as, as, as individuals. They tell us who, what, who we are, how we fit, how we get along with other people, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what our purpose is. He had nothing. He had no stories. So she suggested I do a journal. So I started doing a journal, uh, which actually ended up being the second half of the book. <laughs> the, I wanted to write a, a different story uh, about healing, and I didn't know really, except for a few things about reports and the information that he told us about his his early life. Mm -hmm. You know, I I kind of took what I knew mm -hmm. uh, of him when I was writing it and went backwards, sort of backward mm -hmm. engineered. What were the things that could have happened to him that mm -hmm. would have caused these kinds of things? So I created, uh, along with all the facts that I could have, the first half of the story. Okay. Now it was a mess right at that point. Well, it was uh, at the time <laughs> I was meditating every morning and uh, meditating, and praying, and in about five o'clock in the morning because the kids were still asleep, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it came to me uh, as a vision. Uh, okay. At the end of my vision, and it looked the structure looked like uh, infinity sign, the sidewards. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and that's the structure of the book. I was also walking every day, about four miles. So I created this uh, eight, this figure infinity uh, mm -hmm. by the road, because the roads mm -hmm. are kind of curved where I live. Uh, and I would walk that every day. And every day as I walked it, I would plot different scenes in my mind along that path. Okay. You know, until I got the whole structure I wanted that way. So I hope that wasn't too much of an answer. No, that was very interesting. Thank you. Well, You're I'm welcome. looking forward to meeting you in person in November where mm -hmm. we'll have all kinds of authors to. And by the way, the editor that I'm referring to, she'll be uh -huh. there. <laughs> awesome. Very awesome. She awesome. will be there with her books and everything. So it'll be a great time. And I thank you for your time. And I'll see you in November. Oh, thank you, Mandy. I, I, I appreciate you've worked so hard to try to help me as I come rumbling and tumbling into this <laughs> thing at the last minute. I truly appreciate it. You've, you've been a real friend to a stranger. So thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh.